Greetings folks, this is a build overview of the Brusla or the uh, eSky box plane made from the cardboard box that the eSky uh, Eagles came in. You can see it's sort of thinnish and reasonably firm cardboard box which is what you want, you don't really want the thicker floppy one I don't think. I've never actually built anything from the thicker ones but uh, let's get to the dimensions anyway. Uh, now I used one of the folds in the box for the leading edge there. I don't know if that's a good idea. You might want to uh, try and avoid that fold so that you can get a, a bit of a uh, rounder leading edge. I must try that in the future actually, uh, but I did. Initially I had 70 centimetres for the centre section. I decided it was better to go for a 90 centimetre uh, wingspan with the tips folded up. So the end section is... 10 centimeters on each end. Uh, so what I recommend you do is take start off with a 90 centimeter uh, wing section, fold it up into the airfoil, then uh, make a couple of slices in the top there, cut a wedge, fold them up, and then sort of hot glue in there uh, to hold it in position, and a bit of tape as well. It's an easy way to build it, be a little bit more accurate too. So 90 centimeter wing span. Uh, I have 20 centimeter cord and the spar uh, was a piece of cardboard about like that which is uh, what 60 60 millimeters six centimeters um, and if you want to close up the wing tips like I have then just stop the spar short five centimeters short of the end and so you can, that way you can squeeze up the uh, and glue the wing tips down flat so you would want, uh, what's that, maybe an 80 centimetre uh, piece of card like that by 6 centimetres and you just mm, basically do a score line down the middle using something like the handle of a screwdriver just so you, you sort of provide a bending point, bend it into a uh, inverted V shape like that and then just glue it onto the bottom open uh, part of the wing about 30 percent back which is about about 60 millimeters back from the this fold here just glue that in there so that the peak is about 60 millimeters I also put folds uh, three centimeters in front and behind that just so we get a little bit of a uh, curve over the top look at the build video to see exactly how I did that. So that just gets glued down in there. So I'll just note that down. So that's the piece of cardboard you need for the uh, wingspan basically. Now start off with the ailerons. Uh, I just worked out how far apart I wanted the uh, vertical fins, 10 inches or 26 centimetres between there. That showed me where I could cut, basically deciding by how uh, big an elevator I wanted, uh, which is 26 centimetres by 12 centimeters. So the ailerons starting just outside that they are about 21 centimeters by uh, 4 centimeters. So I just cut slices there and there and then just cut through the bottom half of the uh, cardboard folded over cardboard and bent it up to make a hinge and that's all I've done for the hinge. The vertical fins, what are they? are about 33 centimetres length by 13 centimetres height. I used that flat design because I initially thought I might put the elevator on top there but the cardboard isn't really strong enough to support that. I didn't, I didn't think so. I've, I've glued that uh, seven centimetres down from the bottom and that gives it a little bit of a, a step up. Uh, just looks cool. Don't know if that's 
has any significance, but anyway. Now, you can just do a straight wedge if you want to. It's up to you, it doesn't really matter as long as you've sort of got enough area. That seems to work okay. So I just cut out these shapes, then I cut a, a wedge that sort of fits into the back of the wing there. Make sure the bottom edge of the cut is flat so that it fits into the flat bottom of the wing. So that's the sort of wedge that I cut. You I'd pick up the wrong one, that's the Sharpie, I'll have to <laughs> wipe that off. So 23 centimetres, 13 centimetres, uh, what is it? I think I have about 6 centimetres there, the front. You can curve it down as you feel suitable. And once again, the elevator is 26 by 12 with a 30 centimetre elevator. Taped on barbecue skewers along there to give it a bit more rigidity. Now this fuselage section here is just a 50 millimeter or five centimeter box. Tape it up at the end. Uh, I think it probably would have been a better idea to extend this right to the trailing edge there and sort of have that tapered going right back there. So uh, I would make a 38 centimeter box and start the taper from about uh, 20 centimeters back. Something like that. <laughs> so that's the rough rough proportions of the uh, fuselage. In the nose I have just a, a block of plywood and mine is about, mine's a bit chunky, at about uh, eight millimeter thick plywood. Don't really need it that thick. You could get away with five, four millimeter plywood probably. Three millimeter is maybe a little bit too thin. But yeah, just cut it and glue it into the front of the tube there. Need to pay attention uh, getting the angle of the horizontal stabiliser sort of level with the angle of the bottom of the wing, roughly. Got it quite wrong. Uh, my horizontal stabiliser was actually down at the back, so it's making the plane want to go nose down. I actually did put a little bit of up thrust in the motor to kind of counteract, counteract that, but that sort of gives it some odd flying characteristics. Make sure you get that flat decollage, same as the wing, uh, and then you would probably want a, a tiny bit of down thrust in the motor. The motor I'm using here at the moment is from the Zod uh, Dart XL, actually I swapped it in the field because I uh, crashed it and broke the prop adapter for the other motor, so it's easy just to swap the motor over. 30 amp plush ESC, uh, which is about right, you probably only need 20 amps, I'm sure. Uh, 1300 3S battery just sitting up on the top there. And I've just put a little bit of cardboard here to give a bit of smoother airflow going up over the battery. Uh, and to stop the battery sliding forward into the prop. It's very rough and uh, won't last long, but uh, it's a good sort of a prototyping approach, I suppose. You can try a design out of cardboard quick and easily like this. You can test different things, like I might even test downturned wing tips. So that's pretty much all there is to it. It's very rough and ready. Give it a go. You've got cardboard boxes lying around. Uh, quick and easy build. Took maybe three hours start to finish. Could get faster at that once you get a design together. So there you go, go and find yourself a box, build a plane, show us how well it flies. Thanks for watching and don't forget to 